Okay. So, is the ship below you yours as well? Um, no, I am ferrying that around for the uh, fashion group. Uh, we had to log out earlier. You're ferrying it? We looked at this one and I offered to take it back to the H1. Oh, so you've got it docked to your ship right now. <laughs> so you're tugging that. Okay, cool. Who made it? Do you know? Uh, CW390. Ah, I've been trying to catch up with that man for quite some time. Yes, I know he's on here and he's got a lot to show me, but uh, anyway, well, let's just stick to yours for this one and we'll catch up with him later. So I've described this as the flying shotgun with balls, uh, mainly because of the two giant spheres. So what's the dilly? Well, right now the ship at Dan is less than 15% finished. Uh, I wanted to get the twin power boards finished up first so I can build around that. Wow. Yeah. So what's the deal with the engines? Um, also I'm finished just enough to get me moving around at a decent speed. It's a very unique design you've got here, mate. Have you been inspired by anything? Um, yes. Actually, this design was inspired when I was helping my friend build the uh, experimental assault ship, the Razor Star, uh, Star Complex. Oh, and, okay. Uh, the Power Sphere um, design and uh, integrated it into this one. Since, uh, Are they Nobody has tried to make a double uh, Power Sphere. Are they functional Power Spheres? Have they got power in them, or...? Oh yeah, I'm currently generating 1.2 million power with those. What, with both of them or each? With both. Oh right, um, interesting. So one point, okay cool, so you're at cap, nice. Um, and that's interesting because it's quite a lightweight ship isn't it? There aren't many blocks really. It's, is it nimble? No, it will be, it will be a beast when I finish it. I'm so, uh, just trying to get the main framework. These are turrets at the front, are they not? Yes, they're both about 65,000. Wow, uh, it's... Built on another server that had a block of the turrets. So it I'm reminds me... It reminds me a little of my Hail Mary, except... with a much more aggressive design. Yes, um... I... Use, each turret will do about 106,000 DPS and can fire under their own power for about 10 to 12 seconds, so... Um, oh, wow. Anything with 2 million shields, dead in the top 10. Wow, that's really awesome. Well done, mate. And what was the name of this machine? Well, it's been dubbed by numbnuts or blue balls by uh, the loving members of the Mushroom Crew, but I'm kind of deciding on whether or not to name it the Invictus <laughs> or the Sleepnir. Ah, okay. Sleepnir is a good one. I love that. That's a nice... <coughs> it rings powerful names in my word, so my butt. It's good one. All right, well, thank you very much, KY Computer, for showing me this ship. I can't wait to see it when you've done a little bit more to it. You're saying it's got some work left to be done, so I can't wait to see that. Um, and, yeah, to everybody, yeah, cheers, dude. And uh, to anybody watching, uh, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one. And be sure to check out the last videos, because there's been a lot going on lately. You don't want to miss out on all these fresh ships. So, cheers. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you soon.